Welly, welly, well. Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Let's Paint. I am your host, Trooper6, and today we bring you the Proto Marine. What the hell is a Proto Marine? Well, they're a homebrew of mine. And a good buddy of mine overseas has requested, since I was going to do a Proto Marine, to give you guys some lore. Now, the Proto Marines are part of a homebrew project of mine, something I'm not going to spoil today. However, I will have to spoil some things. So part of that homebrew project comes my own homebrew Iron Hands. Now, the Iron Hands, we all know, the Iron Tenth, whoop de friggin' do. What do we have for these guys? Well, my Iron Hands are known as the Hands of Vashtor. So, that could only mean one thing. Yes, they are a Chaos War Band. And they worship Vashtor. It only made sense. At least in my head. These guys use the Gene Seed of them. So we're talking something quite heretical. Now, Belisarius Call don't give a damn what you consider to be heretical. And as you can tell from this little Mark III we got here, and from the uh, thumbnail, that these guys are obviously, and by name, totally ripped off, <coughs> uh, inspired by uh, Proto Man from the ever so famous Mega Man series because I had recently finally had gotten to play Mega Man X and everything and I started to fall in love with it so I started of course doing a whole bunch of uh, Mega Man 40k crossovers and I had a blast doing those I didn't think they were all that well received I'm not sure I know the people that did like them absolutely loved them uh, I had some people reaching out like, dude, that thing looks awesome. I'm like, well, they're available on Etsy. There we go. There we go. Just trying to get in there. And I nicked his crotch. So what are we talking about today? Well, we're going to be talking about some proto marines. So as I said, they come from some heretical iron tenth. But it's not just that that gives them some of their controversy when it comes to the Imperium. Not too many are aware of their existence. They're not totally secretive or anything like that. It's just you don't see them often. They are Marines of few words. It's not to say that they do not talk, kind of like the Retributors. You don't really see them ever talking. Um, no, they'll talk. And it almost sounds more mechanical than you might assume. And because of this and the fact that they never expose themselves outside of their fleet, uh, never, never exposing themselves to anyone who is not uh, one of them. Uh, so even, even other chapters, they just, they do not remove their helmets. They do not expose themselves. Rumors have started to circulate. Um, that they are more machine than man. Borderline men of iron. And Belisarius Call, being the uh, ever so sneaky little devil that he is, he has gone to no lengths to uh, stifle these rumors. Because, I mean, what does he care, right? They're rumors. Small minds debate people. Large minds debate ideas or discuss, discuss ideas. Stupid minds misquote people. So you can just chalk me up to having a stupid moment right there. But either way, back to some itty bitty titty lore. So these guys, of course, are from a chaotic gene seed doing their thing, 
And uh, for all intents and purposes, so for us, the readers, we know that they have been using some experimental AI. And that is something that I've just kind of come up with right on the spot. Because I haven't written too much lore for these guys, uh, being that my project is a little bit more expansive than this successor chapter. So, even for all of you that know me, you know I'm not a fan of... Uh, the Primaris all that much. I, I prefer the Firstborns, and I love the Mark III. But being being as their lore is, it dictates that they are a Primaris-only chapter because they are, you know, basically brand new after the devastation of Baal. Ooh, excuse me. So, yeah, they're going to be part of the uh, new era. Uh, and they're not going to work with everybody. They're just not. It's not in them to do. So they will do whatever the hell they want. Uh, there's no misconception about them being renegades or anything like that. I do have other homebrews in work for that kind of story. So don't you worry there. Ooh, man, this mini is quite the challenge when you're trying to do this with a with a curved brush. Let's see if I can get the contrast with the, there you there you go. You see that? You see that? It's because I needed to uh, change this brush out. The problem is I didn't really have many brushes for that. Well, I have a new pack, and I believe I have a new pack showing up today. My brushes were on, uh, they were half off. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy more. But either way, guys, um, <laughs> well, sorry, Omar. That's, that's about all the lore I have at the moment. Um, uh, they have a... Pretty basic color scheme. The yellow, I'm not sure what to do. So everybody who knows Proto Man, they know they have uh, that he has a uh, he has a yellow scarf around his neck. We don't know what, exactly where that came from. At least I'm not aware of any source that tells us where that scarf came from. If it was found or if it was given to him by somebody like Doctor Light or even Doctor Wiley, we just don't know. But basically, what the only problem that presents to me is what the hell do I, what do I do for yellow on his on these space marines? And I thought about doing the uh, the chest symbol. I could do the Aquila as yellow, and I was like, I just don't know if that's going to work, honestly. So with the uh, with the uh, with the stern guard or the blade guard, I don't, I don't remember what they are right now. So obviously his tabard right there is yellow. And to me, that was a no-brainer. If they have a tabard for a proto-marine, yeah, that, that's going to be yellow. Just to pay more of an homage to proto-man. Uh, but for your everyday marine, they don't always wear tabards or any kind of cloak or anything like that. Or a cape. So I didn't know what to do. Uh, and I think we're just going to go with a good old weapons bronze, uh, just to keep it that way. Cause the, uh, some of my homebrews, I'm still playing with the color scheme a bit, you know, before I land on an official and I don't know, man, I've, I've been having fun painting these guys and my Kaiserborn. For those of you who don't know who my Kaiserborn are, they are, as the name implies, German-inspired uh, because of my German heritage and the fact that I really did like reading up on uh, World War I. Uh, I enjoyed reading on World War I more than World War II, honestly. 
I just I had more fun reading about it. It seems like it was it was a it was a whole ordeal. Something I'm not really really going to get into right here right now. But anyway, um I decided to uh make a homebrew chapter based on them. So I did. Uh quite a few people liked the mini. I think the color scheme works out. It's another one of those gray chapters. Uh most of the color is found on their heraldry. But it's okay. Ooh. Those allergies have been driving me bonkers lately. So if you guys hear me sniffling, I'm not sick again. But my damn allergies are going nuts. And I don't have any more allergy medicine to take. I kind of ran out and didn't resupply. So that's my fault. Hoo hoo hoo. All right. We're almost done with this. God damn it. We have been using more Citadel paints lately, as I'm sure y'all haven't been noticing. Uh, one thing I've been liking are these contrast paints. They are awesome. I really do like using these contrast paints. They work out pretty well for me. And I think they would work out pretty well for you too. If you would just give them a shot. That's all you gots to do. Give it a try. Give it a shot. Ho, ho, ho. Let's see. Is it a little bitty? Is it a little bitty? This is going to be dangerous with a curved brush. Luckily, Nuln Oil will cover any of the mishaps that we might have doing that. So it'll just go into the recesses anyway. You see that? A little ring. A little ring, ring around there. Alright. Damn, you know, I really did think that I might have more for you when it came to lore. I guess I don't, but that's okay, because like I said, these these guys are a successor chapter. I don't really have the time to be working on lore for successor chapters when I'm trying to do a whole bunch of other stuff. That and I'm working, uh, I'm working 12 hours a day, four days a week. Uh, so I'm getting a little bit of overtime every single week, and it's, I believe the overtime's about to go away, it doesn't really matter. Other people are bitching about it, I don't really care anymore. All we can do is look for something else, right? That's all we ever can do, because we always need more. Daddy need mo, daddy need mo money. And part of the reason I have these proto-marines out was not just to show off what I did before, but also so I have a damn reference picture for what I'm doing. Because these guys are still basically brand new to me. And I'm using my zero brush for this part. Because I would like some straight lines and not really a lot of blotches.
another thing we were kind of playing with was uh, the uh, squad markings on the right pauldron. That's something I'm still not sure about. So, I initially was going to go with black. My wife said, hey, why don't you try white? Because, you know, the pauldron, the heraldry pauldron is, is half white as well as half black. So what the hell are you going to do? Why not just try white? Might make it stand out a little bit more. I did try white. I'm not sure if I like it. like I'm not sure if I like how that is going to turn out but that's okay we can always come back over with another layer and it will blend it all in and make it look very nice and that's part of the reason why I really like uh, contrast paints is because you can do shit like that and it won't really come out cakey you know you keep putting on layers of a certain color and it just might come out cakey and all that other fun jazz and I think we're going to do the same back here I haven't done this on a On a thing yet. So, for those of you that know me, uh, I've, I've seen most of my work now. You've seen how I usually paint a backpack. Uh, it depends on what the color of the marine is, it, and it will depend on what I... That will dictate what I do for the centerpiece of this backpack, and that's just not coming out well. I know it's a little glary or dark. It, it's hard to give you a good shot. That's not coming out how I want it at all. So what we're going to do now is just paint it all black. Fuck it. What I was going to do, of course, if you hadn't picked it up, was I was just going to match what the damn pauldron had. But that's okay. I don't feel like messing with more of it, so we're just going to go with all black. And that's usually what I'd be doing with these. Like, uh, if I'm ever painting my Cacaradons, you know, they have all gray armor and stuff. Uh, that centerpiece would be black. Uh, proto marines and everything, yeah. Uh, I did black for the stern guard or blade guard, whatever you want to call them. I even did red on the shoulders of the backpack, which I didn't remember I did that. So we might have to try it with this. Maybe. Maybe. I like to keep it a little bit traditional, as close to the inspiration as I can. Because, you know, it is inspired by it. Why not keep it as accurate as possible? That way the inspiration is very clear that it stands out. It doesn't have to be that way, of course. But it's okay. Alright, that shoulder ought to be dry already. Yeah, and you see how washy that looks? Not a problem. Just go back in with our brush now. And we're just going to blend everything together a little bit more. These contrast paints are interesting, man. It's like, it's kind of like working with a stain. And you know what? Before I forget, I swear to God, we're already like basically 20 minutes into this. Uh, I haven't been getting any more about it, but in the interest of still giving them the finger, where the hell is it? Where's the goddamn paint? What are you talking about? I don't have it. There's the fucking paint. 
You guys want to see my primer? That's my primer. It's basic as hell. That is all you need. A good old Rust-Oleum flat gray primer. Two times ultra cover. I don't know about any of that crap. But it is one of the best primers I ever have. Uh, it doesn't clump. It doesn't run. It doesn't pool on me. Like uh, just pull into the cracks and crevices and then gives you just crappy, crappy detail. Uh, the white can do that. The, uh, the off-white... Whatever pale gray or something that I have, I, I can't see the name of the color right now, and I'm not getting back up for it. I hate, I hate priming with that. Um, it it gives me a good coloring for like when I do my Luna Wolves, another homebrew. Gives that off white kind of moon dusty look, but it's a bitch to prime with. It's a real bitch to prime with, and I can't do it in layers per se I got to prime the whole thing because if I if I do like a light layer and then I come back in uh you're going to see the texture of the previous layer it's just it just doesn't work <sighs> all right some Corex white this stuff has been awesome my citadel or not citadel my army painter white wasn't liking it wasn't liking it at all. I really, I really did dread ever having to use it. All right, that stuff would streak on me. I'd maybe get two brush strokes in, and it would just be non-usable. This Citadel White has been awesome. I should have used my Zero brush. I really should have used that. But my nose is also getting out of control already. It's starting to become very annoying so yeah I'll show you a good example of what I was talking about when it came to the white and then for God's sakes I tried a layer paint with it and oh it did not work look at that that is just sloppy as hell that is to me inexcusable we can't do that. Close up that white. Break out the black Templar again. We can't do that. Let's get our zero brush. We're going to try to crisp this up. This is black over white, so this is going to be a little tough. That's a little better. A little bit of a curve on this side. A little bit of a curve. But that's okay. That will be a little bit better. I don't know. Something just... It, ah, it bubbled out and it bothered me. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it can't look stupid like that. Anyway, what was I saying? Right. The white, man. I used uh, the Army Painter Matte White. Came out streaky, came out clumpy, uh, mixed it. Yes, I know, I didn't water it down. And then I used the Citadel layer paint, and look at that. You cannot exactly tell when I have it on the turntable. Because it just, it looks okay. And this is not a the best example, this is not an exact recreation of it. But yeah, look at that pauldron. <laughs> You see the black is nice and matte and smooth and then you get to that white and you're like, what the fuck happened to your mini? I'll tell you what happened. Amateur hour, that's what happened. But either way, we've got our pauldron more or less done. 
We gotta hit the trim. We're gonna do that with the weapons bronze. The helmet. We're gonna try to do the three spikes around the face, uh, around the top, around the eyes and everything. Uh, it's not going to look like this helmet where it had the white face, even though I love doing that. I love doing that contrast. Uh, we're not going to do that. We're going to try to go a little more traditional. Kind of like that. But either way, on the next round, we're going to try to do that since we just had the white out. And uh, hopefully this will be a little bit of a shorter series. And then we got the red to do. Because uh, I feel bad for the last series being a six episode. Or no, a five episode. I don't know. When it goes past four, I feel a little, I feel a little irked by it. But either way, guys. I'm going to see you on the next round. Void Father, guide their brushes. And stay safe. Have a good one. Peace, guys. Boop, 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 boop.